This large survey is a wake-up call to Canadians that it's not only third world countries that have food insecurity and people going hungry, it's also people in, um, in Canada, in remote communities, in northern communities that have limited incomes and very extremely high costs for food. What is an obstacle is the perception that a treaty right cannot be used for commercial purposes. And these are, the, these are the, the old ideas that we have to break down and destroy. Fishermen used to be able to set four nets and get um, maybe 40 tubs of fish. Now they have to set 40 nets to get four tubs of fish. You know, it's, that's been a total reverse. The flooding of the lake really affects our, our food chain as far as everything that we get off the land. And it's really damaged a lot of our uh, hunting areas, our fishing areas, and even our berry picking areas. There's being sent out and coming back with no legs or legs or arm, toes, fingertips. Virtually every fiber of policy in Canada, um, of the government, of the political and economic system, works against uh, the food security of northern communities. It has to go beyond the idea of uh, supplementing the freight costs in the case of remote communities. It has to engage the people in the idea of food production to the extent they can in the climate in which they reside. So we need to get busy you know, growing our potatoes, our carrots, our vegetables uh, in, in great numbers to sustain all our population.